So we now got a lot of the famous durian uh, offered and it definitely does not smell as bad as people always say. In 1977 we made the first plans for an overland tour through Africa. 37 years later the dream became reality. We spent four years on the road traveling through five continents. Our journey came to a sudden stop in Southeast Asia due to Corona. We have hit the road again, but nobody knows where and when our voyage will end. In the previous episode, Margriet returned from the Netherlands and we spent our last days in Kuala Lumpur. We are visiting the Textile Museum. We got the message that Brave Dodo, our camper van, will be ready for collection tomorrow, so this should be our last day in Kuala Lumpur. The shipping agent has informed us that we can collect the car at the beginning of the afternoon at a place near the port. This morning we'll have another look at Peter Link Street and Lake Park and then we're off. If you need a face mask, this is your chance. moment that we are reunited with our car. For the first time since long we are camping again. Today we stay at the campground and do some necessary maintenance work. We need to refill our gas bottles. If no refilling stations are available, the only option is gravity filling. We borrowed a full cylinder from the camping owner and bought a part to connect it to the high pressure hose that we brought. I connect both tanks to the hose and put the full tank upside down as high as possible above the empty one. I increase the pressure difference between the tanks by creating a temperature difference. I put the full one in the sunshine and the empty one in the shade covered with a wet cloth. Continuously I check the weight of the empty one to ensure that it isn't overfilled. Filling completely usually takes a few hours. I am putting the items back on the roof that I needed to take off for the car to fit in the container. The container in front is our washing machine. In the morning we fill it with laundry, water and detergent. And after a day of shaking while we drive, the laundry only needs to be rinsed and dried. Behind it are our spare wheel and two solar panels. Furthermore we have a winch and two plates to put underneath the wheels if we get stuck in the sand.
Today we go to the 4x4 workshop, which different people said is the best one in Malaysia. Repairing a left-hand drive car in Malaysia can be difficult, but with parts from the Netherlands, the dead wobble issue is finally solved. Xiong, yeah, yeah, yeah. who is in charge of the workshop, invites us to join him for a camping weekend with friends at a hot spring nearby. We enjoy the first wild camp in nature with Swang and his friends. We try our small camping stove that runs on twigs and can be used for cooking water or for charging our phones. We are offered local delicacies such as dragon fruit and ice cream made of durian. The fruit with a bad smell, but a good taste. Well, the smell is not as bad as I had expected it to be. Locals like this place for swimming, and so do we. We end today exchanging stories with the other campers. We are invited for a typical Chinese lunch with our friends before everybody goes home. A large turntable is filled with a variety of dishes, including a big fish, and everybody takes what he likes. After lunch we return to the same campsite where we stayed before. They end with a heavy shower. We first go back to Swan because also a minor leak in the radiator that was installed in Australia must be repaired. It takes all morning. We continue to Penang Island. Because the campground that we selected doesn't admit us, we find a wild camp spot only when it already gets dark. We can now see our camping spot by daylight. So if you look uh, this way, it looks rather romantic, but uh, if you look this way, you see that it's uh, a bit different. After we have refilled our water tank, we move on to a campground that doubles as an orchard for durian, rambutan and jackfruit. So we now got a lot of the famous durian uh, offered and it definitely does not smell as bad as people always say. We have just entered the tropical spice garden. And that's a garden where hundreds of tropical spices are grown with explanations where they come from.
the next episode we will see more of Penang Island. <laughs>